Swimoutlet.com delivers the best online shopping experience. With an extensive selection and the lowest prices, you're guaranteed to find the product you need. Here's what you get. Free shipping on all orders over $49. Free one to two day shipping on all orders over $99. All orders placed by 6 p.m. ship out the same day. Shop at Swimoutlet.com, the web's most popular swim shop. At five feet 11 inches and 174 pounds, Tyler McGill may put out more power than any other butterfly on Earth. In the 100 meters butterfly, Tyler McGill has always been there, always in the hunt, within striking distance of making history. 2008 Olympic trials, Tyler touches fourth in the 100 fly final, just missing an Olympic berth. 2009, makes the world championship team, dips under 51 seconds in the semifinals. 2012 Pan Pacific Championships, Tyler McGill nets silver behind the man, Mr. Swimming, Michael Phelps. 2011, in Shanghai, Tyler claims his first world championship medal, a bronze, wetting his appetite for London Olympic hardware. I recently caught up with Tyler at a fitter and faster tour stop in Fishers, Indiana, where he was giving back, conducting a butterfly clinic, focusing on underwater dolphin kicks and streamline. In Fishers, Tyler also raced swimming phenom Michael Andrew, the young superstar who broke 20 national records in the 11 and 12 age group. Olympians racing kids for fun is not out of the ordinary during the hype of an Olympic year. And I got a chance to ask Tyler how that race came about and why. We just kind of saw online one day that you know, this kid was setting all these national age group records, and so we just wanted to congratulate him more than anything and just say, hey, awesome job, Michael. You know, congratulations. We're having this fitter and faster event in the pool where you set these records. Um, come out and join us. And part of the events, we always race and we have a good time. Um, and that's what this is all about, is, uh, just kind of him coming out, having a good time, and us getting a chance to race. I've been following Tyler closely for years. Tyler's well known in the swimming community and respected for the progress he's made in the shadow of the global star, Michael Phelps. At US Olympic trials, Tyler will also be challenged by Davis Tarwater, Tim Phillips, and Dark Horse Tom Shields, among many others. But it is all about Phelps and the 100 meter butterfly. Ask Tyler how he prepares to do battle. Does he visualize himself touching the wall first, defeating the greatest swimmer in history? You have to. You, you absolutely have to. There's not any other option, no matter what level of athlete you are doesn't do you any good to envision yourself finishing second or third. I have to visualize myself winning. I don't do myself any, you know, any justice by not doing that. I have that dream and I have that vision. It's just a matter of working for it and from that point doing the things that will make me swim my fastest. And at the end of the year, if I am first or if I am second or if I am third, you have to know that you did all the things mentally, physically, uh, and commitment-wise to swim your fastest. And that's that's what I, I see when I close my eyes. At the 2011 World Championships in Shanghai, Michael Phelps won in a 50.71. Tyler McGill charged to the wall, getting third in a 51.26. Tyler was within a half a second. And for a man living the Olympic dream, that's within striking distance. Michael Phelps is focusing on seven to eight events, and most likely the 400 individual medley. A vastly different race requiring vastly different training. Phelps isn't focused on the 100 butterfly, 100%. I asked Tyler if that's something he thinks about, if it adds fuel to his fire. No, not at all. <laughs> I think it's awesome. I mean, he's obviously done it before. He's, you know, he's the world's best. He's been the world's greatest for so many years now. So whether he swims 400 IM and 100 fly or not 400 IM, like, it's up to him. And uh, my focus, again, has to be slow, solely on what I want to do and my goals that I want to accomplish and worrying about his training and his training focus just takes mental and physical energy away from myself that has to go into my own swim uh, for me to be successful.